Hello, all you beautiful people. Welcome to my little talk today. This is Amy Motter with Platinum Weddings and Events. And it is great to see you guys again. Um, I know I'm not really looking at you, but I know you're looking at me. Um, it was kind of a, a pretty crazy couple of, well, I'll say a couple weeks, about 10 days around here. Um, all in a good thing. Life has started to pick up a little bit, which is amazing. And we're loving every minute of it. Uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, some tips when hiring your transportation for your event. Every bride has a particular idea on how they want to do part their amazing day, and they want to say, hey, I want to make a statement. The statement does not end with the wedding. It will end when you are driving away, which is very exciting. Some people choose to use their own cars, but do know that there are many other opportunities out there that are not terribly expensive. Um, some can be, but not always. So today, uh, why I'm talking about this, as I'm Amy Motter with Platinum Weddings and Events in Austin, Texas, um, is that unfortunately we lost a very dear soul to us. Um, Bill Talley, who was the president of Transportation Consultants, uh, lost his battle with cancer last week. And we're, our hearts go out to him, uh, to Joan and his entire family. Oh, Angel's got a great one. I will, I will say that. So today I was like, well, I'm going to talk about transportation because a lot of people don't know uh, that when you are shuttling people around, it takes a lot of time and those people are cherished. And he certainly, certainly was with us. So when you're selecting an automobile, um, you can use different types of vendors. Um, there's transport in like in Austin, we have transportation consultants where you would call and say, this is what I'm looking for, whether it's anything on wheels, you know, buses, trucks, cars, exotic cars, fancy cars, sedans, limousines, take your pick. Um, so we have that. So anyway, call them, say this is what I'm looking for. So you use a transportation company is one option. Uh, another option is to use, I know Hertz has exotic car rentals, and I've had people that have rented an exotic car for the weekend of their wedding, so that's an option as well. And then finally, I've had people that have just gone to a dealership and I'm not sure how they swing that. I've never had to do it myself. But all I can think is that they're, you know, hey, I'm going to rent this car for the weekend. I don't think they rent them or they're borrowing it for a test drive or what have you. Um, and then, then the other option is to, to know a friend or know somebody who privately owns a vehicle. We, I will mention this a couple of times, we have a Volkswagen bus. His name is Owen. We rent that out for events, but we also use it ourselves on the weekends because it's a super fun car to have. So don't be shocked. You no, know, there are people around you that do have automobiles. So first thing you're going to do is select a car. What do you want to leave in? Um, limos, that was used to be a very traditional thing to do. And the one piece of advice that I have when you're doing a limo, do not do white with the bride. Um, yes, I know gro grooms typically wear dark suits, but brides blend in. So I would always prefer to use a black limousine uh, when they're picking up a bride and groom. Limousines are awesome. Can't complain about it. They're nice. It's a, a very traditional thing. You can fit quite a few, typically eight to ten passengers in the back of it or just a bride and groom. And today, since we're talking about departure cars, I'm going to refer to that. Um, you can do a sports car. I know that there where grooms will drive away, but do know if the groom is going to be driving that he probably should not be partaking in beverages uh, throughout the evening so that he doesn't smash up this amazing sports car. Um, again, you have the exotic car rentals. Most important thing I say about doing a sports car, make sure the bride can fit in it. Um, I can tell you that Ferraris and Lotuses, the front seats, a smidge small for the size of some of these gowns. And since the bride traditionally does not want the groom to see the gown before the wedding, this is when we run into a little pickle, when he rents a super cool car and they can't fit into it. So, cool things, classic cars. So I keep saying, you know, classic, but know that if you are going to do that, that that is something to consider. So grooms, got to ask your bride, how big is your dress? Could it fit in a small car? Could it fit in a big car? Like, what can it do? Um, and then, then we have vintage cars. So vintage cars, you know, classic Rolls Royces, Cadillacs, name your pick. You know, that's what people like to do. Um, but you also have, like, classic trucks, old trucks. Um, like I said, our VW bus. We have people, I mean, I don't know, you can run anything. Vintage cars. Um, typically what we do is we either ask a transportation company to help us locate one or we just Google things, right? You see classic vintage cars and you'd be amazed at what people have, you know, most people have some sort of website or a Facebook page. Um, do know that the little downfall 
Brides will traditionally fit into all these vintage cars, but do know the biggest thing you have to worry about is whether or not they can operate in the rain, in inclement weather, or if they'll start. So if you are renting a vintage car, you have to be on its site and somewhat of an alert that uh, ask what the substitution will be. I know that when we rent our bus, the substitution is not unfortunately another Volkswagen bus. Uh, we'll provide you a luxury car that we will make sure that that happens, but think about that, right? Because if you're like, I, I don't want another alternative, especially here into the state of Texas, you can, can rain on a moment's notice and that car cannot make it. Um, so it's something to think about. Uh, there are many companies in Austin that actually have a fleet of vintage cars and so they will substitute out something of equal or greater value, not a problem. Knock on wood, has not been an issue with me. Um, we've always had the cars you know arrive that should have arrived so i'm lucky might go to vegas on that one uh, a boat we've had where we've been on on properties uh that have water and people want to depart in a boat perfect don't care i mean i leaving in a boat is great uh just again make sure that you have a driver for that there are also your non-motor uh options pedicabs it's a very big thing here in austin um <laughs> they're great I'm just going to tell you that the driver if you're getting married in the summer is going to be hot and sweaty some brides that drives them crazy others it doesn't just pedicabs are an option um, horse and carriage that's another thing that's an option do know with horse and carriages that if you want to move up your departure time it does take more time for a horse and carriage to get to a certain area than it does a motorized car it's an important thing to remember and by chance, if they go to the wrong location, which we did have that happen one time, a little bit frustrating, they went to the wrong location, um, but we couldn't get the horse and carriage over to the correct location fast enough. So made sure my car is always clean. I always make sure my car is clean and they jump in the back and I drove them to the reception from the ceremony. Yeah, not ideal, but that's what happened. Um, hot air balloons. You can do hot air balloons. That's pretty cool. You just have to make sure that there's adequate landing space where you're going. And the good thing is anybody who you are going to be renting, you know, some sort of transportation from, they're going to know all about permits. They're going to know how to get you to certain places and what you can do. Trust the professionals whenever you get into this sort of thing. Um, there is, you know, rules with airspace. Did not know that, but there is. We tried to leave in a helicopter from the Four Seasons one time and realized that the flight patterns were not going to work. Again, information never thought I would find out, but I did. So... Things you need to know continuing on here. So we have, you know, what you're going to select. Um, biggest questions I have from brides and grooms comes, you know, really rely in why do, why do they charge so much? Um, you're going to hire most often any transportation by the hour with a three hour minimum. Some offer different an option where it's called pick up and drop off, which means they will come and pick you up at the reception and then drop you off at the hotel that you're staying at. Do know like it's important that you you are on time for this because if you're not, they're only factoring in one hour. That hour does traditionally does not affect or in, excuse me that that one hour does not really take into consideration stopping at Whataburger, jumping out of your car and having your picture taken in front of the Capitol, dropping out your car, having your picture taken with a pedicab driver. Um, think about all the things that you know, that they have, that have been done or clients have asked, and then they've gotten a little bit irritated because they're like, well, then it costs more. So, so know that it's pick up. Literally it is what it says, pick up and drop off service. Um, tips. People always wonder like tips. Do I have to tip? Many transportation companies that you hire will include the tip in. So all the bride and groom have to do is get in the car, get out of the car. That's it. You know, they're done. Food gets packed away, make sure you take that out of the trunk, make sure you take all the other things out of the trunk, which your driver will do that for you. However, do note tips, you can tip them extra, but most often it is included. Now, if you do have somebody who says, if you do a pick up and drop off, if they offer it and you hire them for that, and if you say, hey, can you run through what about her? Because that's kind of a big thing in Texas. Um, okay, like let's see if it happens. If they do it, then you might want to tip them for doing that. When you are dealing with a chauffeur, and I'm saying a chauffeur slash driver slash anybody who is taking you from point A to point B, um, make sure that you're on time, you know, to come down. It is, it's imperative that you're on time because if you're running 40 minutes late, then they potentially could do more than one drop off and pick up service. So know that and be, be aware of that. Um, make sure that you 
Okay, for some reason, my neck is scratching today. It's driving me crazy. Um, make sure that you have one bag to stick in that car. That's what's important, one bag, so that you're not going, oh my God, I've got 45 bags and here's this, and here's that. So we take one bag. In that bag will be your dress bag, the wedding dress bag. So you want to make sure that's in there. Um, and then the groom's tuxedo bag or suit bag. So those are the things that you want to have. In addition to that, you can have food be packed away for you. That would be great. But again, you want to make sure you take that out. Um, make sure that you have your key to your hotel room because there is nothing that is a little bit more irritating that you now have gotten dropped off at the hotel and now you're standing there waiting to check in. Take time out of your day, run over, get the key. If you explain to the front desk, okay, insider trading information, I swear it is, is if you walk in and say, I'm getting married tonight, I'm not going to be in that room until midnight, but could I have a key now? Most places will give it to you. If they say no, you did not hear that from me, but I've been able to get hotel room keys. They will make your life easier. Um, make sure you have a ride home the next day. Sometimes people get dropped off and then they're like, how do I get home? What am I going to do? Which I sometimes get those telephone calls, which is kind of comical. Um, the net, the another thing to consider is your tuxedos uh, or your tuxedo. You have to return it. If you have to return it, how are you going to return it? And Really, the best bet is to have someone else return it for you. You can leave it at the concierge desk and have that somebody come and get it. That's really the best thing to do. Uh, and then finally, most importantly, because it is last because I want to say how important it is, make sure that you have cones to block off a spot in front of the departure site. Because when the car pulls up, if they have a parking spot, not only is it a beautiful picture, it just makes life a lot easier. Otherwise, the car circles around and around and around and you have to Photoshop out two cars that are sitting in a parking spot. Ideally, we want you to walk out of the building, get into the car, and then leave. So, uh, dramatic exits. Nowadays, most venues are not going to allow you to do, you know, there's a lot of things you're not allowed to do. Let me put it that way. When you get outside, there are the, they're called GURBS, lights that sh look like sparklers shooting up from the ground. Pretty awesome. They look amazing when the car leaves according to those. However, a little bit hard to do those when you have a horse and carriage. It freaks out the horses, so know that that's not a good thing to do. Um, streamer bombs, those kind of streamer bombs drive horses crazy. So if you do have a live animal, you have to take that into consideration. Uh, sparklers, um, those, if you're not going to do gerbs from a company, then sparklers, you want to make sure that you have either the three inch or the four inch sparklers. You order them online because by the time you light them and they go down into the entire line of people, then it's time for you to go. That can all happen in four minutes. So that's an incredibly important. If you get the 30 second sparklers, game over, photo opportunity is done, and it's not going to work. In addition to that, you want to have, it's nice to have a candle there, um, or the flame torch lighters, hand lighters. Uh, you can order them online, okay, on Amazon, shoot them. Basically, it's kind of like what looks like a little torch, um, but it's thick. And like that lights a sparkler quickly which is what you need to happen, and then people can light off of each other. Okay, so I'm going to task you up with, send me over favorite your favorite photos of your cars. Um, and when I say your cars, your departure cars, I should have ordered that just a smidge better than what I did. Um, if it's a VW up bus, you're gonna hang out awesomely with my husband who is somewhat infatuated with them. Um, we have one, he's currently restoring another one for charity, so I'm kind of excited about that. That's Oscar. But send me over your getaway pictures because I would love to see what they look like and um, and we're going to all vote on them. Platinum Posse, that's what we're going to do. This week, I learned how to do a new task and you're going to say, what kind of task did you learn? I learned how to paint doors. Um, yeah, sounds a little bit ridiculous, but I painted the doors in my, my upstairs and that was kind of exciting. I was full of paint and I'm not going to do this professionally. However, between that and hemming curtains, I'm feeling as though I'm really getting the, the crux of doing little piddly jobs that I have been putting off for a very long time. Oh, anyway, it was really nice visiting with you all. Um, as always, be kind, be awesome, and do the right thing. And don't forget to visit us at our on our website at www.myplatinumevent.com. You can look at our blog. You can see what we're up to. And have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.